Shelly, also known as DJ Shelly. And today I'm here to bring you a quick tip about how to loop your speakers. So for example, you're faced with a scenario where you want to hook up more than two speakers, in which case you would want to loop two of them out to the second two, or you need to open up one of your outlets. So today Nathan and I are practicing our DJ and drums. We wanted to loop our speakers so that we could open up an outlet in order to hook up the quarter inch jack into Nathan's um, drum programmer. What is that called? Module. And uh, record our practice today so that way we could play it back and we could make each of our play sets better. So here we have our drum set and speakers set up in Nathan's garage. We took a quarter inch jack out of Nathan's drum module so the sound would come all of the sounds coming out of his drum module and then into the first speaker so that the sound would come from his drum module to the speakers. So we hooked up the XLR into the output of this speaker so that the sound would come out of the speaker and then we hooked up the XLR into the input of this speaker. Then our first speaker, again, we have an XLR connected to the output, and then the second speaker, we have the XLR connected to the input. Now, the still did not allow the music to play. Why? On some speakers, you'll see a little button for mix and loop, or push in to mix, and make sure it's out to loop. And it's so tiny, you need like a little pen or something in there, you can barely see it. All right, we hope you enjoyed today's quick tip. If you did, please don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me to your Instagram feed, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sounds by Shelly.